Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tech Review and Calibration. On my last video, I mentioned that I was also posting a video of the HDR settings for the Visio M series and since then I've had to return the display. Unfortunately, I was not able to do the video but I was able to take pictures of the color management system and the 11 point white balance settings before returning it. Even though I cannot do the video the way I usually do it, I, I can still show you the settings of it to your advantage. I hope you like it and enjoy. All right, guys, so we're here. I'm going to start showing you the pictures for the settings for HDR settings on the Vizio M series. And I'm going to start with the menu that I start showing you the brightness, which is going to be this one right here. And right away, guys, I even wrote the title so you guys can see it on the top. It's a HDR calibrated. And on backlight, you guys are going to put it at 60. You can go higher if you want because there's no um, standard settings for that. If you want to go a little bit for it higher, you can. On contrast, and brightness, both of them, I left them at 50. Uh, color, I left it at 50. If you want to give it a little bit more, more punch, then you could raise it a little bit, maybe a few more points, but I would suggest you leave it there. Um, on tint, you leave it, you put it at zero. And on sharpness, you're going to put it at, leave it at 20. On the more picture settings and everything, all you guys got to do is just leave it. I wasn't able to get that. Um, all you got to do is just leave it at the film. Uh, film on. Uh, noise, take it off. And on the dark uh, de black details, leave it off. If you want to add it, it's up to you after the calibration is done. And all those um, synthetic, I call settings, uh, you can play with it after. And then on the color calibration, whenever we go there, I'm going to show you guys, start seeing, uh, start showing you guys the settings for the 11 point uh, white balance. And on 100, on the 100 point percent white balance, on red, you guys are going to put it at 5. On green, negative 3. And blue, negative 5. And guess what? 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, all of them until zero, uh, 5%, you guys are not going to touch it at all because the calibration stays very good like that. And adjusting that is just, it's just playing with, with water, a little bit of water in a big pond. Uh, so only those adjustments for 100, everything else you leave it at zero. But the important ones that set the correction on the management system is the CMS, which is the one I'm going to show you guys now. On this one, this is the one that you guys got to write and adjust. On the red, on hue, you put a 3. On saturation on red, you put negative 3. And brightness, you put it a negative 15. On the offset of red, you put 3 and gain you put 7 then on green on hue you put negative 15 on saturation negative 8 on brightness 8 on offset of the green 0 and gain of the green negative 2 now we go with blue on blue hue is 0 saturation 0 brightness 0 offset negative 4 and gain negative 11 then we go to cyan on hue 0 saturation negative 15 brightness 5 jump to magenta negative 7 on hue saturation negative 5 brightness negative 12 and then on yellow on hue saturation on brightness it's zero. There was nothing needed to be done. Um, that's pretty much it. There's nothing else for, for you guys to adjust. Just make sure that you save it as a HDR 
on HDR mode. And for you guys to save this, just remember to save it on the on as an HDR, you have to have a HDR content running at the moment or at the same time that you guys are doing the adjustments because if you go or do it with a regular standard or HD uh, uh, content running is not going to go to HDR it's going to go to SDR mode and you're going to be saving this on the wrong mode just make sure you remember that okay guys and that's it on a side note guys the last video of the VCOM series that I posted, I put some pictures of after, and before and after calibrations, and I forgot to mention that those were actually for HDR viewing. So if you guys like those, then you know how good your TV is going to get. So again, thanks for viewing the video and supporting my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.